Willie, it's always great to talk to you. Thank you so much for being here. Tell us about the weekend with the Ducks and all the young players that you work with. Well, it was it was a great weekend. Uh, you know, seeing seeing the, uh, the 22 kids that were there from 11 programs, and um, and then uh, um, being able to go to the, the the Ducks game and watch the Ducks and uh, and the Seattle the Seattle team play. Then and then the next day we're over at uh, Angel Stadium and watching the uh, watching the Angels and the Boston Red Sox. So it was just a fun weekend, and uh, I'm I'm sure the kids just had a great time. And uh, I uh, I personally had a great time seeing the seeing the kids and uh, talking to some of the directors and uh, seeing how the programs are going. Willie, last time we were together in Boston, you didn't have your skates and I didn't have mine, but I know you <laughs> wanted to put yours on. Did you have the itch to put them on this past weekend? And well, did you put I, them on this weekend? No, I, I didn't put them on, but I, I, I had the itch. It's, it's always nice to get out there, you know, and be able to uh, give the give those boys and girls a hug or a handshake. But yeah. uh, no, I just uh, I was up in the um, I was up in the stands and watching them. And then you got a you got a picture of uh, one of the boys and girls that had a pair of the Willie Reese skates on. Sweet. And uh, I hadn't I hadn't seen them on any of the kids before, but it uh, it sure uh, it sure looked good. Well, you've been in Southern California a long time, and you played there. Now that we've got multiple teams in the California and, and down in the South. Um, what are your thoughts on, you know, with what you're doing, the impact you guys are doing, and the growth of the game with the youngsters throughout the southern part of the states that we, you know, really in the last 15 years, it's just exploded. And, I mean, you're, you're a huge part of what's going on there. What have you seen regarding that, uh, the growth in Southern California? Well, first of all, there are more boys and girls playing hockey today than ever before. Um, you know, the rinks that have been instructed in, in Southern California, especially up in the up in the um, Orange County area, um, and the kids are getting the uh, getting the opportunity to get on the ice and, and practice and and uh, and just have a great time. You know, when I uh, when I first came uh, with the NHL back in uh, back in '96, uh, uh, there were only uh, uh, approximately five or six. Um, teams operating in the diversity program. Uh, now there uh, are their programs into the 30s, but um, it, it, it has grown over the years, and it's just nice to see the boys and girls getting the opportunity to get on and play a sport where they haven't had, had, had the opportunity to play before. Willie, Jackie Robinson Day is coming up very soon, in fact, on April the 15th. Talk about your experience of meeting him as a young, uh, up-and-coming hockey player. What was that like for you? Oh, it, it was great. Um, I was 14, and I, w I was playing hockey. I was playing baseball in my hometown, Fredericton, New Brunswick, and uh, played shortstop and second base. And we, we won the championship that year, and the reward was our team was to be taken to New York to see the Empire State Building, Radio Music City Hall, Pony Island. And I um, went and saw uh, the Dodgers play, went after the game, uh, went down to the dugout, Mr. Robinson, uh, shook hands with him, and... Uh, I told Mr. Robinson that I not only played baseball, but I, I played hockey, and he didn't realize that there were any black, black kids playing hockey. But I said, yes, there, there are a few, Mr. Robinson, and I uh, shook hands. And um, it, was just, it was just a great feeling to, to shake the hands of, um, you know, the, the baseball player that broke the color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. And then uh, I was traded to the Los Angeles uh, Blades in the Western Hockey League in 1961. In 1962, the NAACP had a luncheon uh, honoring uh, Jackie Robinson at one of the local hotels in, in Beverly Hills. I received an invitation through the hockey club and went with two other players and the, and the coach of the team. When we arrived, Mr. Robinson was uh, talking to some media people, so we stood offside. When he finished, uh, we, went, we went over and the coach um, said, Mr. Robinson, I'd like to introduce you to uh, three of the local hockey players here, especially... Willie O'Ree, newly acquired from the Hall of the Canadians. And Mr. Robinson turned to me and said, Willie O'Ree, he says, aren't you the young fellow I met in, in Brooklyn? So he remembered me from 1949 to 1962. And I mean, it, it just made a big impact on me. Speaking of big impact, Mike Greer's had a big impact in his family, obviously, on the NFL football side and on the NHL side. And now Greer's, he's the general manager of the San Jose Sharks in your yes. home state there in California. Give us your thoughts. At, yeah, give us your thoughts on him making history there. Uh, but well, also, you know, yeah, I, I take knew, it away. I, I knew Mike, uh, you know, as, as a hockey player. Uh, we did a couple of uh, hockey clinics together. 
and he, he was just a, a just a beautiful human being, a uh, down to earth human being. And I knew that he was going to go go well in, in the hockey, and not only in hockey, but you know he had his mind set on on uh, on other things. And now he's a general manager, and it's it's just great. You know, when I uh, when I was with the the diversity program, and and they said, well, why isn't there any more black hockey players? Why isn't there any more general managers and and uh, other people of color playing and um, being in these other um, positions? I said, well, there will be. I says, you know. It, take, it takes time. You know, you set goals for yourselves and you work towards your goals. And basically, that's what the, that's what Mike did. And I'm, I had the highest admiration and respect for him. Willie, uh, the growth of the women's game really has taken off. What about the contribution the PWHL has helped in developing the women's game and, by extension, the game of hockey? Well, <laughs> I've always been interested in, in women's hockey. Uh, with uh, with my programs, I've always had two or three girls on our uh, on our program. Um, there were there were three up in up in Anaheim, and you could see the you could see the growth of the um, of the women's hockey. And uh, you know they uh, they play the game uh, just like the men. And uh, the one thing I can say, I had uh, three girls uh, on the on the um, on the Willie Reese Skills weekend, and you couldn't tell they were girls until they took their helmets off, but. You could you could tell that they they had the, the the hockey skills head up the passing and everything the moves that they had and so uh, it's just great to see them and um, I'm I'm uh, very happy that I'm able to watch the women's hockey. My good buddy Jason Payne, head coach in Cincinnati with the Cyclones, he's been yeah. an ECHL All Star for the last five years and they just made some recent history. They had an all color players of color starting lineup I, just recently here. Your thoughts? Yeah. Uh, congratulations! Unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch the game. I was up in I was up in Anaheim, but uh, I have the uh, I have my uh, congratulations to the to the entire organization. It's it's just a great thing when you when you can do something for the first time. I mean, you know, you're 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 to be congratulated. All right, Willie. We've touched on American League games. We've touched on the the PWHL, the NHL, different programs. I, I can't recall ever hearing your answer to the, what team or is the team that you follow living in, in California. I see the B, <laughs> love the B behind you there in your house, the alumni. But is there one team that you're like, you're like, this is my team now? Who's who's that? Well, uh, you know, I, I like the Padres in, in baseball. Now in ho now in hockey, you got you got the Ducks in Anaheim. You know, you got the Kings in L.A. and, and then you got the team over in San Jose, San Jose Sharks and. Uh, I have um, my close feelings are to the, the two that Anaheim and the Ducks. Uh, I have the opportunity to go up and see, see games in, in both of the stadiums. So, um, and um, when I go up, they always, they always recognize me. I can't, can't go anywhere in the building without being recognized. But uh, uh, the, the Ducks and the Kings, I, I enjoy watching them uh, on the telly and then in live. Well, we can't thank you enough for your time. It's always great to talk to you. Thanks for all that you do, and uh, thanks for always being so willing to join us here on NHL Network. Great to see you. Great oh, to see you, my man. My all the my best. Pleasure.